Hi Sagittarius, this is your reading for March 2014. So this is going to be the last ast astrological video that I'll be doing. I'll be focusing on the cards, but whenever I feel the need to mention anything on the planets and the new moon, full moon, I will do so in those videos to cut down on the videos. Um, instead of 24, I'll be doing 12 and then injecting some other videos that I really want to do uh, on this channel as well. So you will still get the information. <laughs> Um, but just for me, focusing more on, on the cards. And, um, and I'll also be doing some videos with the different zodiac signs and their com compatibility and so on. So it's really fun. So I want to have enough time to do those. So let's get into it. So March is like a big month. We have three months of two planets going retrograde. So we have Mars and we have Saturn are the two planets going retrograde for three months, okay? And then we have on March 6th, Jupiter going direct. So let's get into it. So we have Mars going retrograde in Libra. And Libra is all about balance. And Mars is all about war, conflict, um, aggress aggressive kind of energy, right? And so Mars is going retrograde March 1st to May 20th, okay, on in Libra. So Libra is saying, let's be balanced here. Let's look at things. What does not work? Do we really have to fight? Do we really have to argue? What doesn't work here? What's in the plan? And this is the message here, Sagittarius. So whatever you don't need anymore, um, or you don't you just don't need, just get rid of it. Okay. No conflict, any kind of conflict or any kind of hurt feelings and reactions that, that anyone that starts it, um, it won't turn out good for them. All right, so we have Saturn going retrograde in Scorpio, March 2nd to July 20th. And I'm going to put all that information in the box as well. So Scorpio's energy asks for loyalty. They're very loyal to themselves. They're very much into um, change. Okay, so any kind of transformation. Um, so what Saturn is, is a slower moving energy. It's a lot of blockage, a lot of um, boundaries, like a, a stop of things getting done. So the feeling is, okay, things aren't moving as fast or not going as well as you thought it would. It's a time to really just do the best you can and just let things manifest on their own. So you, you're, you, you're in full mode, especially if you're looking for work or, or um, trying to get some kind of change in some form. It feels like a slow moving energy, so it could be quite frustrating. But here comes March 6th, where Jupiter now is going direct in Cancer. Jupiter is like known for luck. Yay, positive energy moving forward. Cancer is compassion, harmony, um, nurturing. So maybe just um, really focusing on self and giving that love, maybe even um, extending it out to others. So maybe creating, um, I really feel for you being out there, you know, maybe going out, um, talking to people, um, c communicating the first week is really injecting more of that positive outlook, especially if you're looking for work. Okay. Now we have, um, the, the new moon in Pisces got this first of March, new moon in Pisces. So the first week of March is like, Two plants go in retrograde plus the new moon in Pisces. So new moon in Pisces is saying awakening, this word awakening. So maybe now you're you're thinking of new ways of getting things done, just something new, um, a new plan, new idea. So March 1st, maybe it's already happening already. Okay, this 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 like I believe there's no time. So new moon in Pisces is asking you to kind of free yourself. And maybe for some of you, it's healing that water essence of water energy. So the new moon in Pisces is just freeing self, your imagination, your creativity, uh, just the way you look at things and just being uh, creative, um, especially if it's for work, you want to be really creative and look at things in a different way. March 16th, I feel every time there's a full moon, it's another time to reevaluate. So whatever your goal, your, your mission was from December, looking into the new year, January, February, March is like the month to like get it right, get it right, get it right, get it right, right? So so the full moon in Virgo, Virgo is an earth sign. Virgos are great at organizing, keeping things together, um, being grounded, being focused. Focus is the positive energy a fire sign like Sagittarius can incorporate, okay? 
you guys have drive, Sagittarius, you can get there and get it done. Here comes Virgo. Take the positive aspect. This full moon is a great time to meditate. Connect to the root chakra all the way up. Get yourself back in order. Look at what you've planned from, from today, um, the last day in February, to um, tomorrow, which is going to be March 1st. From the 1st to the to um, the 16th, March 16th, you're going to look at your, your plans you've made and say, is it going right? Where can I tweak it? And you're probably going through that process through the whole beginning of March. But here comes Virgo for everybody, for Virgo saying, hey, how can I tweak? How can I get myself back in line? Is this, is this plan working? Okay, I could go here. Okay, this is great. Ooh, this is a new idea. You know, getting yourself focused and grounded again. So Sagittarius, rising sign, sun sign, this is for you, Sagittarius. I hope you guys like this reading and I look forward to all the card videos and all the other videos I will be shooting on my days off. So I thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful March. Oh, I almost forgot. I was like, whoa, wait a minute, at the end. <laughs> I want to do a yearly reading and a numerology reading. Yay, I remember. Okay, so eight okay, is the number for the year, okay, and also it's a year of the horse, so let's start with the horse, the horse, the year of the horse, things will be revealed, so nothing will be hidden, so maybe um, parts of your personality, the way you are, the way that you attack things, maybe that will be revealed to you, and how you can do it better, so maybe someone else's character, the way that they are, that's going to be revealed, Okay, so this is a year of things being revealed. And, and I also have the feeling of people not putting up with a lot of garbage, a lot of crap. You know, people are just like tired of it. So when you're dealing with people, people are going to be like more short. They're just not going to have time for anything. And maybe it's the beginning of the year energy too. But it's the year of the horse. So things will be revealed is the essence, the energy of the year. 82014, 2004 is 8. The energy of the year for Sagittarius, I feel, is your, your money and how you use it, okay? So for Sagittarius, I really feel that that eight is for you, um, how you use it, but moreover, it's balance. This year is your money, your finances, that's key too, but balance is what I have in my notes for you. Balance, balance, balance. How can you balance yourself out this year to bring back some form of stability? Because you guys are fire signs, you're travelers, you like to travel, you like to go for things that you like. You don't like to be restricted at all. So this new moon in Pisces is like, great, this is like um, a freeing time, March 1st, freeing time. Maybe you're gonna go out to a party this weekend. Maybe you're, you have a couple days off in the beginning of this week, whatever. This is you setting the trend for the rest of the year for you. So eight is the number this year. And the eight means infinity, it means so many different things. But for you, it's injecting more balance and you're setting that, that um, energy for the rest of your year, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you're awesome. Thank you guys so much for your support. Have a wonderful March, and I look forward to all the cool uh, videos that I'm planning to do. And I'm learning this editing program, so I really want to do some very cool videos for you guys, some informative videos. I'm really excited. So, yes, have a wonderful March, and thank you guys so much. Um, I started this video channel in December, so <laughs> it's like under under the sign of Sagittarius. So I was like, yay, that's a good sign, a good start. So I look forward to what this year has to bring for all of us. I wish you guys the best. Have a blessed month and just incorporate some more balance into your life, Sagittarius. You guys can do it. Have a great March.